Okay, it is uh, 10 3 I've had two trades with CYDY and I want to go over them. And I kind of did something a little different because it's something that I've seen happen a lot, but it's something I don't normally take. I did try to buy the morning panic bounce play. This was like a gap down morning panic bounce play because the previous close was 58. And then we had like a sell off right here in the 30s. And I was interested in it. And I need to work on taking every position that I see possible, every good looking setup, because it seems like the past uh, two days, including today, I've been missing out on setups by hesitation. And, and that's something I need to stop doing. At 9.32, I was interested in it because it looks like it was trying to trade around this 38 level and hold. And I got in 500 shares at 38.03. And then I got out the next minute when it was breaking below the 38 level and it was getting into the 37s. And I got out at 37.06. It got a bit lower. I got to the 36s. And I did see this turnaround. It was very quick, but I could have been a part of it. And this was nice. I could have been in maybe in theory 37 again. I did try to place an order. I just didn't get filled. Uh, right here at 9.35, I tried to buy 500 shares at 3.68, but 37 was at the ask. So I wasn't able to get filled. And that one did play out, and I at least tried. I just wasn't able to be a part of it. And that one did work out. So... Yeah, this one worked out, but I need to work on not being so hesitant because I could have gotten in at 368 if I was um quick or with it. And it did get to VWAP, and then I did trade again, but I only bought now 100 shares because this was more of a practice trade. I wasn't trading like an actual $40 risk level. I did buy 100 shares at 941. And again, this was something where, you know, I've seen it happen where it has a morning panic bounce play. Maybe I miss out. And then it uptrends, and then it gets around a VWAP level, and it trades back and forth. And I've seen it do it a lot of times that it holds the VWAP level, and then it continues to uptrend at some other point. But I'm not going to be in it because I missed out on my original entry, and I feel like I'm chasing well. I feel like this is a whole other setup. I did buy 100 shares at 941. Much smaller than that other position, of course, at uh, roughly this $0.40 cent level, perfectly around $0.40. Cent. And, you know, I could have, in theory, have tried selling, but I just thought, you know, these things take a longer period of time to turn around. So I did just decide to hold on to it, but there was a point where I tried to sell, I think. Uh, no, yeah, and I actually, yeah, 944, yeah, I did try to sell. And, you know, that's when I just thought, you know, I'll just hold on to this because I've seen this you know, over a longer period of time workout. It's not something that just happens immediately after the morning panic bounce play. And I did sell half of my position at 42. That was at 9.58. Right here at 9.58, I sold some at 42 cents. And then I sold the last 50 shares at 10.03, which was right here at this 43.25 level. And this thing can continue the uptrend, but... You know, I also have to take into consideration there's going to be resistance all the way here in the 44s, 45s, and the 46s. And it might just, you know, uh, not be able to get above it. So that was the situation with that. And I'll make an update as to what it does um, later. I'm going to be down on the day if these are the only two trades I have. But that's fine. I think I just had an improvement trying to do something I don't normally do. And I thought worst case scenario, I'll be cutting a trade if it breaks. The day low, which is 36, I was uh, going to allow it to maybe uptrend right here and then downtrend under VWAP, but in theory, make a higher low off of here and then it continues to uptrend. This one held VWAP, so that's pretty cool. I was also looking at SYXX. I could have been in at 41 and I also hesitated here. Uh, it's just something I need to stop doing, and it seems like when it starts to trade very quickly with a wide spread is when it's more likely going to do it, so I think. You know, um, normally a disadvantage that, oh, I missed out because it turned around a widespread. Well, maybe once I see that widespread quick price action going on, that's when I can be more aggressive and be in a position. This one did get to, in theory, the 48s, although maybe a real sell would have been at 46 because that would have been the bid. And it can continue to maybe trade around here, ideally, not break under 35, and you know, it can get above VWAP and it can be more profitable. That's pretty much it for right now. I have no interest in trading this one. It's a bit scary with a widespread, but I want to see what it can do. 
This one was just up one day. It's not something I'm too interested in trading. Sure, it looks like it could try to hold this level, the 52 level, and I'm trading it could very well do it, but you can also just break below it. It's done something like this before, too. No issues with TX, TM, or INND. I'll make an update later. Okay, it is 4.39 p.m. and I'm here to call it off. Overall, I'm going to be down on the day. Just 2 bucks and 97 cents, and that was three trades. Two with CYDY, and this one actually worked out. And it went even higher than where I sold it by a considerable amount. If I were to have traded a natural size, 500 shares, I think... Um, not 5,000, although that would be the goal, right? I would have not just have had a green day, but I would have actually been able to uh, make a lot more money because it did uptrend more. And I did have one trade with SYXX. Now, first, I do want to go over CYDY. My last sale was at this 43.25 point at 10.03, and it did make a higher low, and that's what I was going for. I did see, like, some kind of topping price action, and it made a higher low, and you know, despite the fact that there was resistance and everything, it made a really nice move towards that level, and it got to the upper part of this resistance level. It got as high as this um, 49 cent level, so that was actually pretty impressive. Let's just see what best case scenario would have been. Maybe a sell in the 45 and a half level with 500 shares to have a proper risk level. Yeah, that would have been actually really cool. So there's definitely potential out there, and I definitely think today is a lot better than the other day. At least I feel better in my trading. Um, yeah, it really sucks that I lost money in this one right here, and then it did work out. And I need to get more aggressive when a stock just shows that it's starting to trade fast or with a wide spread, especially in this case because it doesn't really show anymore, but it was breaking past the down training trend line right here when it started to do the ultimate reversal towards the upside so that's something i need to take into consideration as well and i traded the same setup i didn't mean to do that right here i traded the same setup with syxx and this one was a bit different because it was down on the day as well but it hasn't had like a run-up or anything like that it just dropped with a whole bunch of volume so that's why i was interested in it I did buy 15,000 shares at 1038, and I actually got a really good entry. Uh, 1038 was right here, and the idea was is that this thing was going to break above VWAP after having, an, in theory, a morning panic bounce wave right here, and then it can try to make a move towards the upside. And as you can see, it did it here. It didn't do it when I traded it, though, and I was watching it when it did it here, ultimately. So I think one thing I could do is just try to you know get in the setup again later and I want to go over uh, exactly what I was looking at so this was looking nice because it was looking like it could in theory make a move towards VWAP and break above it and I got in as you can see my entry actually no my entry does not seem to be here it's probably in the other one right here this was my entry at 47 and a half. I didn't get in at um, 48. It was 47 and a half. And I liked how there was this big wall of bidders at 46 and 45. So I was in it. You know, sure, there's a seller here with 415,000 shares, but um, a lot of support at the bid. And it's a pattern that I've seen work more often than not. And I got out of it very quickly. I got out at 1040 exactly which was right here and i got out at 47 so essentially i was in at 47 and a half and i got out at 47 why because all of the people that were supporting at that 46 level 45 level it looked like they were about to be taken out and i was very very quick and i got out at 47 and i was not able to uh you know lose anything big and it did have a downtrend as low as 40 and then it did it. So I guess it just had this sell off right here, wiped out a bunch of sellers, and then it made the move ultimately. And this thing would have worked out as well. And I wish I tried it again there. So definitely room for opportunity, room for improvement, um, a good amount of trades and attempts overall. I at least did try CYDY when it was above um, the downtrending trend line. And it was looking like it was trying to make a move towards the upside. So I just have to keep getting better. 
uh, that summarizes it just get better and I think with more experience that's going to be something that um, I get better at you know I <laughs> just get better at getting in and out being more aggressive that's all I have for today